Hello YouTube and greetings once more. Um, I approach today with a few jolts of trepidation. I approach today with, uh, shall we say, nerves about what may or may not be to come. Because today I'm going to have, well, it's not going to be a slag, but I'm going to have a talk, a chat with you about uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, third and fourth is what I'm going to do. However, to start off, um, last Saturday I did a session of Solomon Kane. The first one I actually put together sort of purely off my own back, and I admit I used one or two of the plot points from the actual book. Um, but you know, sort of having sort of changed the details, strung them together, and sort of combining them, uh, you know, the meat of the whole adventure is something I came up with. Let me tell you that, um, and this is this is a tip for every novice role player out there, even some experienced ones. Generally speaking, if your players walk away and they want to play again, you've done a good job. Because unless you've done something really well, they're probably not going to feed your ego by telling you that you've been absolutely incredible. If they do tell you absolutely incredible, the chances are that they actually mean it. So uh, yeah, I, you know, I can walk, I can walk away from Saturday with my head held high. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know, I, I, I've been pondering whether or not I should go into sort of the, the, these details in the story arc that I use, but then again, as I said, just go into some of the stuff from the book, so, you know, um, we'll, we'll go into that later, anyway, possibly, if, if, I, if I feel like it, because, you know, I did put together a decent, I think, story for it, but, you know, at the same time, that's all good. You know, utilising the whole plot point system, which I went into at the end of my Savage Worlds uh, sort of overview thing. However, before I get into this, I I'm sorry, this is an ideal time to flash my lovely, lovely, lovely Colossal Red Dragon once more. And this is, uh, I'm going to put this sort of half as a video review uh, uh, to uh, Captain Machine. Uh, sorry, let let's get rid of this, because it does look like he's vomiting his flame. Eep. I'm just going to poke myself in the eye with the dragon spines, but you I should have seen that one come in. However, yes... This is indeed the colossal red dragon. I don't know if it is twice as big as the uh, gargantuan black dragon that uh, Captain Machine has shown off, um, but it looks pretty big and they basically try and trick you into it, the fact that it is twice as big because it is also twice the price. So, good times there. However, I actually got this... Uh, just, yeah, I'm sorry, the, the base is very dusty. I should have dusted that beforehand. Um, however, the, um, the the fact is, it's a red dragon, and this means that, because it does come pre-painted, the actual uh, markings and whatnot, you know, the actual mistakes, you probably can't see them where you are. I mean, it's actually it actually looks pretty good on the camera, to be perfectly honest. You know, the detailing on the, uh, on the muscle and everything. But... Um, you know, in actual, in point of fact, you know, there are some mistakes with it because it's red paint rather than black, and let's face it, it's not quite as easy to cover up. But um, ah, I am bleeding. Nice, that spine got me good. Hmm, tasty. You can't see it because the light's there. Lucky you. You don't want to see my blood. Anyway, uh, this dragon bloody hurts. I tell you. <laughs> Death to miniatures! Anyway, yeah, but as I said, so I, I, I think that that is a gorgeous model, uh, despite one or two little flaws with it. And uh, Captain Machine, I hope when you pick this up and you do your review, I hope you're as pleased with this as I am, because, you know, when I saw this in the store, I, I just really couldn't resist. Anyway, so here's his vomiting flame thing. Anyway, <sighs> anyway, enough about that. Since I have a fair six minutes of time left on here, I'm just going to go through a brief overview of... I mean, I've done... In my very first video about role-playing, I probably did a very, very brief review about D&D. &D. Um, yeah, essentially, it's about sallying forth into yonder dungeons to slay the mighty griblies contained within and steal their ill-gotten fat loots. That's D&D &D in a nutshell. <laughs> it goes a lot deeper than that because there is some, you know, if you play, if you want to play it like an investigative piece or whatever, there's actually some proper role playing involved. But yeah, it's a it's a very much uh, high to dark fancy, you know, sort of setting in your role playing adventures, and everybody should know it because it really is one of the granddaddies of miniature tabletopping as well as role playing, really, uh, which is pretty awesome. Now, I'll probably go into these properly in a second video. But one thing you will see here 
is these are the D&D books from here, Player's Handbook, Monster Manual, and Dungeon Master Guide. And this also holds true. And I admit, I have this in a very tasty sort of case, because I bought it in all in one. And as you can see, Player's Handbook, Monster Manual, and Dungeon Master's Guide. They all contain the same sort of set of quality of books. Alright. Never mind, just putting these upside down on the chair. Clever, 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 clever. They're all very well bound, they're all very nice to look at. For my money, the 4th edition books are the crisper and cleaner of the lot, and I also think the easiest to navigate. Really big time. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to get into a comparison of 3rd and 4th, you know, the pros and cons of each. And originally I was going to have a rant, but really that's a bit stupid, so I am going to do a proper objective sort of, you know, weighing my... Now, bearing in mind... This is my point of view, which means you're entirely, entirely justified to completely disagree with me. However, this is how I personally see it. Now, um, as I stand as a, as a role player, um, there are two, well, maybe more than this, maybe I'm really generalising, but as, I, as far as I know, there are two main types of role players. First of all, you have the people, and I f think I fall into this category, where... Um, you, we, we basically, when we create a character, we create the character around the concept, and we actually try to roleplay the character from the off. This generally means that we're not going to be uh, giving the character the best gear, the best weapons, the best loadouts, to really make him effective on the battlefield. We are going to be giving the character what we believe he should have in a role from that sort of role-playing setting. The other type um, are power gamers, as they're called. This means that they try to stack crunch the system to get the best possible, you know, to to the bloody uh, plus one on your die rolls or whatever. Uh, you're trying to actually get the most um, effective build, as they're called. I mean, I'm sure MMO gamers understand this. Most effective build you could possibly can. No, it didn't start in MMO gaming. It started in D and D and all these other and all this other good stuff. So don't think you got there first, MMOers. You didn't. Um, but uh, those are the two different types of gamers. And like I say, just bear in mind that I'm going into this with the former point of view that I don't generally power game, I, I, I play to actually sort of role play the character from the off. And I know, you know, don't be offended power gamers, because I know that you do that as well, you know, but I, all I'm saying is that some people really do stat crunch and then try to role play their stat crunch, rather than actually, you know, having a concept and actually role playing as, even as you're picking out the stats. If that makes sense, uh, it may or may not. However, uh, right, in that case, I'm going to end this review here. This is sort of the intro to uh, my little d d comparison. And I shall come back to you with a small sort of... Uh, co well, I'll come back to you with a comparison proper of the books and the system. Catch you in a moment.